empowering our citizens, Californians, to get out there and say, hey, these are your marine protected areas. That's the coolest thing is like, all you really need is your phone and you can be a scientist. You can help us directly in Sacramento make better decisions. When you take a photo and upload it to iNaturalist, you are making a record of a given organism being in a given place at a given time. And then with some clever AI and helped by the iNaturalist social network, uh, iNaturalist actually helps you identify what you saw. We take your observation and put it together with the observations of thousands of other people and look for trends in the abundance of different species and the diversity of ecosystems that all this information combined can tell us about. The state could really use this data to help us understand how, how our MPAs, our marine protected areas, are performing and how we could better manage them. But we need some help mining this really rich but messy data set for answers. Right now, we're working together with the Ocean Protection Council, with our data scientist, Geo, to analyze all those data and help figure out how best those data can help inform marine protected area management and our understanding of how those areas are protecting biodiversity. Every year, we run a big campaign called the Snapshot Cal Coast, and that is people up and down the coast of California over two weeks in June, getting out to their local coast, the places that they love or the places that they know best, and making and sharing observations of all the species that we can find. It's a pulse of information about coastal biodiversity, and it provides me with most of the data I need to understand uh, the state of our coastal ecosystems. So knowing what lives in MPAs helps us understand if our MPAs are working, right? So we need to know things like, are MPAs increasing density, certain species that are likely to benefit from MPAs, are MPAs increasing biodiversity, are MPAs maybe helping our ocean and coast be more resilient to climate change? So these are some, some pretty big unanswered scientific questions. Because we've been monitoring for a while, we've been able to observe some big changes. If you see big trends, you can make some big decisions. This project is getting us a sense of like the health of the coast and ocean statewide. It's a way to really involve people in marine protected area management and ocean management issues more generally saying like, hey, get out to your local marine protected area and help make some observations that are, that are gonna help us make better decisions up here in Sacramento. Even by making a single observation, you are providing the vital information that we need to understand what's happening to our coast and therefore influence the policy decisions that rely on that information.